How you doing, guys? I'm Star Delta 9. I'm coming back at you from the spiritual room. I'm going to be doing a collective reading today. So take what fits, leave the rest. Don't ever give your power away to me or anyone else out here on YouTube. You know your story. We'll clarify what the right way to dig. And we're going to use the fairies. I hope you guys are having a great day. Namaste to you all. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what I need to see for the collective today. Nothing but love and light, Spirit. Nothing but love and light. King of Cups. So that's in the center of your reading. So you have some sort of charismatic kindness going on here. Libra Scorpio, constant. Crossing you is the Two of Pentacles. Some sort of harmony you're having with somebody. Maybe a project you're working on with Capricorn there. What's the crowning energy, Spirit? Crowning energy, please. Thank you. So the King of Swords. So you must have perceived something and spoke it with the King of Swords. Strong, brave, clever, right? Truthful. Gemini. Capricorn, Aquarius. The Knight of Wands. So that's in your past energy here and then with the Knight of Wands. So you're on some sort of journey. It's been pretty dynamic. Fast. The lovers, some sort of decision or partnership. The king of wands. Wow, you have three kings here. Ace of wands, the world, and the two of swords. One more spirit. One more, please. Thank you. So the bottom of the deck is the knob of cups, which is the Knight of Cups, some sort of emotional romantic dreamer. She's very naive, though. She doesn't know much. This is a beautiful deck. I love this deck. So let's get into this. So we have the King of Cups right in the center of your energy. So we're talking about someone that's very kind, very charismatic, Libra, a Scorpio, somebody that holds... Some sort of title in your life, kings and queens are people. So maybe a significant other, a dad, a boss, a husband. Crossing that is the two of pentacles. So you're having some sort of harmony that's helpful for you. So let's see what this is. Who's this king of cups and what's this harmony that you have? And are you, are you creating a new project? someone helping you let's find out here clarify this king of cups and the two of pentacles please from the spirit So temperance, having to balance yourself, moderate something. You're having to moderate something, but you're having harmony moderating it. You're making it look easy. The five of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. In reverse, it's that you're having some sort of revival, some sort of courage. Maybe you're, are you looking for a new work? Are you looking to move or create something with a partnership? Because you have a revival here. One more on this. Oh, two more. 
So the bottom of the deck is the Fool. Then you have the Two of Cups upside down. And the Eight of Pentacles. So the Two of Cups upside down is saying that there was some sort of misunderstanding that you had. And it possibly was with this masculine figure that holds title in your life. A boss, a husband, a significant other, a brother, a dad. But you're building something. So you're having some sort of harmony here. And you're balancing yourself with it. And it's you it's reviving you. It's reviving you because you have the, the two in reverse here, and then you have the two pentacles in the upright. And if you look at that card, she's bringing stuff to her, right? She's learning a skill. And whatever it was surrounded some sort of truth with the King of Swords because the Queen of Swords perceives it. The King of Swords speaks it. Queen is perception. The King is speaking. So you're speaking some truth to somebody about something. Clarify this powerful friendship. Maybe you're seeking counsel. Four of Swords. So resting, retreating, cautiously, exile to the world, destined, okay? The Wheel of Fortune. So something has turned in your favor, and it's a destined event. And whatever it is, it's truth. It's truth. That's why you're resting. That's why you've cautiously taken a retreat here. You can pick up that sword anytime you want to, but you're resting. What's going on here with this King of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune? Was it, mm, yes, I see that. Was it unexpected? Something unexpected happened? So the hangman, bottom of the deck is the five of wands. So conflict, debates, competition. The hangman, spirits hung you upside down to gain some sort of perspective. I think I'm talking to a masculine energy. And there's been some something that's happened with his significant other. Because the Knight of Wands, he's here in your past energy, right? And so that's that's someone that can come in really quick and leave really quick too, right? They don't always stay. It's woulda, coulda, shoulda. But the Knight of Wands is generous. They're on a journey. What's this Knight of Wands want? Whoever it is, it's it's pretty dynamic. Eight of Wands, again, dynamic, happened fast, happened quickly. Check your emails, check your spam folders. Ooh. So whatever it was that happened, it might have happened quickly and put you in the Knight of Swords energy, thinking that you were tied up or restricted couldn't see anything or do anything. Clarify this restriction. Who's restricted? Is it a masculine or a feminine energy, please? <clears throat> a lover. And then the king of wands is in reverse. So this person, this masculine is unyielding. He's being very prejudiced and possibly causing this restriction. And it's a choice he's made. And it's in a relationship. Because the lover's down here as well, right? And the lovers can be about choice. It could be about partnership. It could be about making decisions, harmony, romance, trust. So in the reverse position, the king of wand isn't trustworthy because he's unyielding. Restricting someone's person. God damn. Cause the tower. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower, please. Because this is some sort of, you know, eruption that came in quick, hard, and fast. It may have ended a relationship. There may have been a bankruptcy or money issue here. 
King of Swords in reverse and King of Pentacles. I can't make this shit up. So we're talking about an emperor and, and he has someone in his life that he's been unyielding to, not very truthful to, with, obstinate, had evil intentions, caused the tower, and then King of Pentacles coming in in reverse, very materialistic, maybe bribing even. King of Wands in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse, King of Swords in reverse. So this king is, is very unyielding. And here he is in the outcome again in the upright position, but that's the King of Wands. Dynamic. Hmm. Right? Good leader. Passionate. Noble. Honorable person. Cancer Leo. Clarify this king. I won't be surprised if the emperor don't come out. So the wounded warrior, <clears throat> obstinate, <coughs> excuse me, right? Obstinate. It's a win for him, but it's an obstinate win. And he's holding his, holding his position with that nine of wands. Wounded. Couldn't see over here. What happened here? There's another one. God, I can't believe it. So now I have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So this masculine that's been unyielding, untrustworthy, right? In the reverse position in the past that caused this tower. It was a choice he made. It was a choice he made and it restricted the feminine energy. That's why you see her in the center of the reading creating for herself. She's going to learn how to make baskets so she can make money. And the mice are going to teach her. And she's by herself. So she has harmony because she's on a journey and she's having some project that she's starting. She's starting a project on her own. The Queen of Pentacles is here on top of the Wounded Warrior. So if the King would have come out first, I would have said it differently. But the Queen came out on top of the Wounded Warrior showing me the Queen is the one that's wounded. Wounded by a King that's been untrustworthy, unyielding, comes in quick, woulda, shoulda, coulda, and leaves. Comes back like a king of cups, charismatic, constant. So this person's, you've had a go around with this person before. It's a constant in your life. You have the ace of swords out front. Page of wands. So something that's good news. This is a new beginning here. What's this new beginning? There's movement. Two of Wands. Someone has their back turned to the reading. They're looking forward. They're looking ahead to try to make some sort of plans. They're finding their courage. But it's leaving them in the Nine of Swords energy. It's, it's, it's not been fun for them. They didn't want to do this. It's keeping them up at night right through the heart. Right through the third eye and the crown chakra restriction again with the nine of swords. The nine of swords really is some sort of suspicious cruelty, anxiety. My 3 a.m. card. Can I have one more on this? Okay. One more. Yeah. Spirit says hold your ground. Stand your ground with the Seven of Wands here. With the Seven of Wands here, you this is stiff competition. You're very curious about what's going on. And it's been very challenging. But in your environment, you have the world. So it was. it's a destined event. It was meant to happen the way that it happened. Clarify the world with perfection. Recognition here with the world. That's success. This king looks like he manifested this tower, and it's been a success. I see, before I even pulled it and turned it over, ten of cups upside down. So it was a, it destroyed the family, the dog, the cat, everybody with the ten of cups. Now, being in the reverse position, yes, that's saying that this was a wasted, broken relationship. Major quarrels. What is this major relationship quarrel? The fool. 
in reverse. Hesitant, possibly. Injustice, possibly. A bad choice, possibly. <laughs> An indecision, <laughs> possibly. But that fool ain't going nowhere in reverse. He can't. He's empathetic, right? He's making a bad choice. He doesn't have all his ducks in a row. One more. His outcome won't be good. The Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords may rush in and speak some truth to you. I... I I have a feeling because they're both on site, same sides. They're both knights. This is a strong, brave, clever person that's been a constant in this queen's life because the queen of cups is the outcome. Two of swords, right? And her hopes and her fears is that she has an, is an indecision. She's having trouble making a decision or finding balance in this situation, but she's sitting in the queen of cups energy. Building something. Having harmony with it. And, and she's dealing with an unyielding, prejudiced king that is creating quarrels and havoc in the relationship. Stagnation. Clarify the two, please, the two of swords. Holding back in genuine greed. Yeah, and it surrounds traditional values. So we're talking about a marriage. We're not talking about a boss or it's a marriage, a partnership. And it's a traditional partnership here with the Hierophant. And someone is holding back in genuinely here. That's greedy. They're being greedy. What the fuck is going on, spirit? Why are they being so greedy? Maybe they made a mistake and they want, they want you back. And they're pulling out all the stops. Because they've come up as a from a knight all the way to kings to the emperor. Because I have four kings on the table. So we're talking about an emperor, someone who holds title in your life. Yes, yeah, see? You're trying to heal right now with the sun card here. Everything is fine. Sun is shining. That's harmony, right? Prosperity, joy. I mean, look at the kid on the horse. There's just, it's, it's harmony, healing. And the queen of cups is here and she's saying, I'm a loving mother. I'm intuitive. I am gentle. I'm attractive. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups could be Gemini Cancer you're dealing with, possibly. She's having some happiness, too. And there may be, again, a male coming to her, offering her something as a knight. Because the knights come up quite frequently here. This is a king, an emperor, but he's showing up as a knight. A knight is emotional. He's a romantic dreamer is what he is. And that's the like woulda, coulda, shoulda maybe. But And it's going slow. Yep. He wants to offer you something. A cup of love. As a page. Not as a king. Not as an emperor. But as a page. That's. No, don't come at a queen with like a, as a page. Because you're not going to get very far. One more. Ten of, of Wands. She's laid down some burdens. Things were extreme. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know what end was up. Manifesting something. What's the outcome here for the collective? Three cards, please. There he is, the Emperor. I told you he was coming out. So this person, this masculine, holds title in your life, and he's an emperor. He's coming to you, this queen, as a page, with an ace of cups in his hand. Hmm. Profitable. New journey. New start. He was wanting a fresh start with this queen. She's healing. You may be in separation with this person at this time, and he's trying to restore the relationship, possibly. One more. Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning, right? And anything you want. Career, love, job. And the Five of Wands. Quarrels, lawsuits, right? And then you have the Two of Pentacles on the bottom. 
So the Two of Pentacles is, is again, having some sort of harmony. And then a, a page again. So this king and then a knight. This king is showing up as a page or a knight with conflict, with uh, har no harmony whatsoever. And the queen was carrying his burdens, and so she's laying them down. She no longer wants to carry the burdens of this emperor, and she is healing with the sun card here. He keeps approaching her with competition, debates, possibly even a lawsuit, and it's putting her up in her mental. She has her back turned to the situation right now and finding harmony, and I think it's because she is attempting to heal and begin something new for herself. If you guys like this video and it resonated with you, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate you. I want to do a collective reading daily for you guys. If that's something you'd like me to do, please let me know. I'm going to pull a couple chakra cards for you and see what chakra you need to work on. And that will be it for you, darling. Thank you so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I know how precious your time is. Spirit angels and guides, can you please give me three chakra cards? Thank you. Vanity. Somebody's all up in their ego, right? Solar plexus, all up in their ego with vanity and that's in the past the current energy is forgiveness beautiful there's forgiveness on the table for whoever wants it so look in your heart and look for love one more please spirit one more, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Couldn't do this without you. You are amazing. Uh-huh. So, isolation. Again, you might be in isolation, this queen. I've said that before. You may be in separation and in isolation, trying to gain some different perspective on this. But Spirit says you're going to be of service to something. So there's some forgiveness here. Maybe this happened because you're trying to build something new. And you're having harmony. And, and maybe you're a healer. Because Spirit's saying you're going to be of service to somebody. This queen is going to be of service to somebody. And this queen maybe has realized that this king, this masculine energy, did not know her worth. And so... The things that went on, the unyielding, distrust, the conflicts, the debates. She's placed herself, spirits placed her in a hangman position to gain a different perspective with the Wheel of Fortune here. So it probably happened really quick. You probably didn't even see it coming. And so the king coming to you unyielding is probably his vanity. And the, and the queen has forgiveness and service. So... Take it one day at a time. If somebody comes to you with love and with honor and truth, then they can be forgiven. And we don't forgive people for them. We forgive them for ourselves. So if this queen needs to forgive, just, just forgive. Let it go. Surrender. And if, if it's the opposite and the king is the one that needs to forgive himself for causing this unyielding debate competition, or what have you that caused this major tower down here with a king of pentacles in the reverse position. That's materialistic bribing somebody. And then that sword, the king of swords, is that that's an evil intention on someone's part. And they're very judgmental and it caused a tower. I'm so sorry whoever's going through this. Please, please sound off in the comment section below if this is your reading. Leave what you want, take what you want, and I say to you, you're amazing. I love you, and keep doing you, boo. Namaste.